Super Nintendo World is a brand new area at Universal Studios Japan that is completely dedicated to the wonderful world of Mario and friends. With a Mario Kart ride, punchable question blocks, and of course, a massive gift shop. Its grand opening was in March, and I was lucky enough to go. Here are 10 things you must do if you ever visit Super Nintendo World. Let's -a go! The first thing you'll want to do is buy a power up band and register it with the official USJ smartphone app. Priced at 3,200 yen, that's about 31 US dollars, the wristband is available in six flavors Mario, Luigi, Peach, and so on, and during your visit, you'll be in a team with everyone else who picked that character. The band records every virtual coin you find in a question block, along with the stamps you get for completing certain experiences at the park, and you can check your collection with the app, along with achievements left to unlock and a set of rankings. And even when you get home, your power up band is not rendered useless, it can be used as an amiibo with Nintendo Switch games in the Mario series. Super Nintendo World plunges you into a 3D Super Mario game, and there are plenty of opportunities for photos. Before you enter the main area, be sure to stop at Superstar Plaza, where a set of warp pipes are placed right in front of the Super Nintendo World logo for the perfect snap. Once inside, Mario, Luigi, Peach and Toad pose for photos with guests. They even speak pre-recorded phrases, and you can unlock new ones with your power-up band. Go say it's a me and grab that sweet selfie. New character Chef Toad welcomes you to Kinopio Cafe, his converted toad house that serves a variety of dishes based on the world of Mario. It's a little creepy that a living mushroom chef is so keen to feed you fungus, but Mario's bacon cheeseburger and Luigi's green curry chicken sandwich both come stuffed with mushrooms. And they're both tasty. Meanwhile, each creamy question block tiramisu contains a white chocolate stamped with a random item icon. The restaurant interior includes a series of video screen windows that offer a glimpse of life in Toad Town. And when Bowser invades and the spores hit the fan, Mario turns up to save the day. We all know theme park trips can be expensive enough on their own, but let's face it, you're not traveling all the way to Super Nintendo World to leave without a souvenir. The 1UP Factory gift shop is crammed with exclusive merch, from peach t-shirts to chain chomp hats to shareable snacks in a warp pipe tin, and the quality and variety available is astounding. But above them all is Toko Toko Mario, a delightful Mario figure available in two variations that walks when you push him along. You can even take his clothes off, but uh, please don't. Oh, and a pro tip. There is another gift shop elsewhere within USJ called the Mario Cafe and Store that sells stylish, understated merch based on motifs like Mario's hat and moustache. Your wallet will be crying for an extra life. Based on the underground stages from the Super Mario games, the Bobom Kaboom Room plays with perspective in cool ways. As you enter, a gigantic Bobom explodes, shrinking you into small Mario. As you progress through the corridors, the blocks around you get bigger, actually it's you getting smaller, until you are dwarfed by an oversized question block to thump for coins. As you search for a mushroom to get bigger again, you might find hidden Mario logo panels on the walls. Touch these to reveal secret 8-bit sprites of Mario and friends. Piranha Plant Nap Mishap is one of many challenges at Super Nintendo World. In this game, a set of 12 alarm clocks have started ringing and woken up a massive piranha plant, which looms menacingly above you. Up to four friends must rush around silencing the clocks before the timer runs out, triggering the classic Super Mario Game Over music. This is one of several challenges at the park, allowing visitors to have fun without the long lines of the main rides. Complete the challenge by beating a piranha plant, a Goomba or a Koopa Trooper, and you will get a key recorded in your power-up band. In a typically Super Mario-esque design twist, you need to collect three keys around the park before you can access the boss stage. Bowser Jr. Shadow Showdown. In this minigame, Bowser Jr. and other enemy characters appear on a huge screen, and you must repel them using your entire body via a motion-controlled projection mapping system that casts your silhouette onto the screen, transforming your movements into attacks. It does sometimes feel like you are just flailing randomly, but it's a fun and energetic experience nonetheless, and it makes your key collecting in the various challenges feel all the more worthwhile. Before you can board either of Super Nintendo World's two rides, you'll need to get in line. But don't worry, there's plenty to keep you occupied while you wait. For example, the line for the Mario Kart ride takes you through the Great Hall of Bowser's Castle, and then into the Scaly Villain's Study, a vast room filled with accoutrements for evil and books with amusing titles that reveal a glimpse into Bowser's character, like How to Talk to Princesses. The line for the Yoshi ride, meanwhile, grants visitors an audience with a digital talking toadette, hidden Pikmin to discover, and lots and lots and lots of eggs. The level of immersion and the attention to detail really take the sting out of lining up. 
On the laid-back Yoshi's Adventure ride, you and a friend ride in one of many multicolored Yoshis in a train-like chain that follows a meandering path through a high-up desert area of Super Nintendo World. Its outdoor section is populated by teetering pokies and piranha plants, while a winding tunnel houses super cute characters such as Baby Mario, Baby Peach and Poochie. There is an interactive element, look out for giant eggs dotted around the course and hit the corresponding coloured button inside the carriage to get points, but really the main draw of this gentle ride is the fantastic Conk Door's Eye view over Super Nintendo World. Mario Kart Cooper's Challenge is an on-rails kart ride that hurtles up to four people per car through a course based loosely on stages from the Mario Kart series. In addition to the gorgeous physical sets all around you, an augmented reality headband displays animated characters and directional arrows in front of your eyes. Turn your steering wheel when instructed, collect shells from item boxes, aim at enemies with your head and rack up points. Beat the score of the AI-controlled Team Bowser and you'll win a special gold trophy stamp. The five minute long mixed reality ride is definitely a little too busy, but as an indulgence in sensory overload in the Mushroom Kingdom, it's unmissable. For more on Super Nintendo World, check out the official tour with Mario's creator Shigeru Miyamoto, or head to IGN.com for our full review.